Hi, my name's Emily. This is Dave. Um, I know you guys all hate presentations, but if there's any presentation that you should listen to, it should be this one. Because even if you're not going to college, you're going to still want to know how to write well. Um, so to back up a little bit, our company is called Monsanto. And what we are is we aim to help build clean agriculture products around the world. I'm sure you guys have heard of us since we're kind of right in your guys' backyard. Um, but to start off, I want to tell you guys a little bit of a story. Um, so when I was applying for jobs out of college, I applied for this marketing position, and it was very tight competition. Um, I ended up getting the job, um, and I later found out that that was because of my writing skills. Writing skills are very, very important. Um, if you know how to write well and communicate well, that's going to get Pretty you farther Pretty interesting stuff, huh? So let's talk about some poor note-taking and writing skills. Not getting to the point quickly. When you drag your audience along, that's not a good idea. You want to get to your point and you want to tell them what you know. Spelling errors and run-on sentences. That makes you look sloppy. Making sure you have a clean paper or clean notes is going to help you. And then the last thing I wanted to touch on, um, don't wait to the last minute to write something down. Write it down when it's fresh in your mind so you don't forget any important details. So good note taking or paper skills. Pay attention to detail. Not having enough detail is going to make you look sloppy. And again, you're going to look like you're not knowing what you're doing. Um, clear and concise. Get to your point. Clear with what you're trying to communicate. And then have a style that works for you. You know, if you're a slow note taker, or I don't know, you don't listen very well. So maybe, fall asleep in class. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can do abbreviations when you note take. You know, to speed it along. For example, that could mean with, or abbreviating because. Having these can help you learn better. Um, Another thing that can kind of be a style for you if you're not understanding a concept, use color, you know, highlight terms that are important or things you need to work on. However, when you're writing a paper to get into a university or updating your job resume, do not use these slang terms. That's a big method. And then just to kind of wrap my part up, um, being a good writer stems from taking good notes. So if you're a good writer, people are going to listen to you more and they're going to take you more seriously. You're going to be a more credible source to them. I'm Dave. And, uh, uh, it's important to know your subject. I'm doing this stuff one just to prove that point. Uh, and uh, got to get to know your audience, who you're talking to. Why are, why are you presenting to these people, you know? And, uh, you want to be emotionally involved in your subject. And, uh, college career sales. If you're going to go be big, it's important to get, know where you, what you're trying to do, where you're going. For college, entrance letters, term papers, emails, from professors, or deans, classmates. Uh, it's all th different styles of writing. It's very important to know what you're writing and who you're writing it to. Having a good entrance letter going into college will really help you either capture their attention and maybe have you um, get a better shot. Um, poor entrance letters rarely get chosen. When you're pitching your ideas to your boss or to your coworkers, you've got to make sure you know what you're doing. Writing your Writing everything down is very important. Knowing what you're doing and, and describing what you're doing is very important. And we all know these three people, right? Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates. They're very, they are three people that revolutionized how we write and how we communicate with each other. Do, what else do they have in common? None of them have a college degree and yet they are still multimillionaires in the tech industry. And they got that way by knowing how they write and who are they presenting to. Communicating well stems from writing well, which stems from good note-taking.
it's all a process. So if you learn this process early, like in high school, that's going to help you a lot in your future, whether you go to college that's or it. not. That's it. your five minutes. All right, who has questions? Yeah, so you learned a lot of information really quick. Uh, do any of you have questions for us? No questions at all? Not even maybe what a good paper would look like. How to write a professional email. You know, I think this is all BS, you know what I mean? How's this going to help me feed my kid? She's coming out like in a month. Yeah, and I'm so just wasting, just so, wasting my time at this school is hardly worth my so time. So, that's a great question, but if you know how to write well, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to pursue college. But if you write well, and if you communicate well, that can have, help you get a better job to support your child. If you can't write well, you can't communicate well, the higher up jobs aren't going to want to take you. Man, I'm lucky to get a job at McDonald's. All your company does is destroy the environment and poison people, like over that high school last year, right? I mean, that was really gross. Why should I become like you guys? Well, we're actually looking for people, PR people, to help us get us out of situations like that. So if we find someone that can get tough me companies out of tough situations, that's a huge bonus for us. And you poison people. God, that's gross. Help us make a difference. You guys are the future, and we want, we're looking forward to working with some of you guys. Yeah, if you have a problem with it, learn now in school, and that way you can help us in the future. So I hear you guys give out money for needy kids. What does it take to get some of that money up here? Good writing skills is what it takes. You write to us why you need the money. You have to show us that you're willing to learn. And so far, we haven't seen that in this presentation. Tell us your story. Read between the lines. <laughs> hey, right back at you. <laughs> Pretty harsh, huh? A little bit. A little bit? <laughs> you guys did great. Well done. Thank you. You're very welcome. Any other questions? Pardon? Any other questions? <laughs> Any other questions? Um, no, I'm good. It's it was harsh. I get it. You did well. Fiber. What's that? Pardon? Fiber. What's that? Oh, they're logging boots that I used to own when I logged. Oh, cool. Oh. Logging kills the environment. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not in role anymore. <laughs> I'm, my, I'm my own person at this point. No more student for me. I'm playing with <laughs> I know. Yeah.